Hey guys, it's Melvin Seven here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of What Do They Need? Now, this one will be Sunderland as they are currently 19th, and it's the second episode, so yeah. I've spoken to a few Sunderland fans, not as many as I did with Villa fans, so I've got a, a brief, you know, idea of what they need, but like Villa, they do need a little bit of a miracle. I mean, they're not as stranded as Villa, they are, I think, on 12 points, but it's still going to be difficult. They still need players with desire. Who will show up in a relegation battle because that's ultimately what they are in so I think three key positions that they probably need are a center back definitely because you look at them you know John O'Shea you've got Wes Brown you've got a couple of other ones here and there but they're not you know they're not blessed with pace that's something Sunderland definitely need in their side a little bit more pace because their center halves in particular are very slow uh, I think Van Aanholt is their fastest defender in the back four, and he's a left back. Uh, another key position would be a central midfielder. They do have two pretty decent ones, particularly Yanya and Viwa, but he's often left by himself. They've also got Lee Catamol, um, and uh, well, they do have Lawson, but he doesn't seem to get played too much under Sam Allardyce. So they could do with a, a midfielder, whether that be a holding midfielder or just a powerhouse in there that can. You know, do the job that kind of Kante does for Leicester, I suppose. That would be the best way to describe it, like a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, and then another key position would definitely be a striker because Defoe is left by himself a lot of the time. I mean, under Sam Allardyce, he hasn't played as much. Uh, Fletcher, when he plays as well, they, even when, you know, both of them play or one of them does, they, there's not a lot of pace. They do need a little bit of pace up front to go alongside some of the good finishing that uh, Defoe has in particular or Fletcher sometimes has. Um, on the wings, I, I think that okay, they, they maybe could do with one. I mean, Jens has been a bit hit and miss. He, he has scored a, obviously that beautiful chipped goal, but he hasn't been probably what the fans expected him to be considering how much they did pay. So maybe that, but I think the three key positions would be the spine of the, of the team to be honest. A centre back, a CDM, and a striker. So, particularly a striker with pace, because that is something that the, uh, Sunderland as a team really are lacking. So, if you're a Sunderland fan, do you agree with me? Do you not? Let me know in the comments. The next episode will be Newcastle, and I'm going to upload three today. And mark my words, I will, because yesterday I only uploaded one. So, yeah, Newcastle is next, and then I think it's Swansea who are after that. So, if you've got any comments for those two teams or any other in the Premier League, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.